Who is that man with the popped collar? Everyone else is wearing like traditional Japanese clothing. And then there's this dude coming out like a fashion shoe. His popped collars are like this. He's got to be important. There's no way he's not important because he seems to know who Kenshin is, right? At least he's talking about to say. I hope we get to fight him soon. Let's begin today's reaction though. Right, we left off with this big dude coming out of nowhere. You're going to tell me this is a human? Like, that's the ninja group, right? He looks like a rat because of his teeth, but like... What is the red skin? Oh, even the name is cute? I mean, his teeth is kind of cute, like a mouse. Right, right, right. We took in that girl. We're like protecting her. I'm half expecting Sanosuke to deadass just punch. Yeah, because they both don't have weapons, right? You're really just gonna punch him? Okay. It's just a fist battle then, huh? I bet he has like a barrel on his back. What if he doesn't take damage? He's gonna spit some shit at us, dude. He's actually pretty jacked there. He's actually pretty jacked. What? The teeth is the flint? Ain't no way. He just used his teeth as like a source of flint, like friction. That's just close. You kind of tell me this is some ninjutsu that you can say flame breath technique. So he like drinks oil, stores it in there. He lights it with the teeth. Whatever, 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 dude. <laughs> what is this? I mean, it makes sense, right? But it's like, I guess that's why his skin's so fucked up too, because of storing oil. I don't know, man. He has like a cannon thing in his mouth too. Like, look. Hmm? Can Kenshin like redirect the flames? Street performance? <laughs> He's gonna cut fire? What? Okay! I mean, you just swing fast enough, so like the fire spreads apart, I guess. But it's like oil infused. I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Oh, Kaori. She's given up on Kenshin, though. Because she thinks that, you know, the group is just too strong. Yeah, but Kenshin ain't just a swordsman, though. Like, in the grand scheme of things, I bet these dudes are just, like, fucking nothing to the guys we're going to compete with in, like, uh, I don't know, the future arcs, right? Yeah. Have you noticed, by the way, that he's only using the back of his sword? Sorry. The dull blade. Yeah, he's doing a little bit of party tricks, too. I want some kind of a fire style. That's right. Hitokiri Batosai, aka main character. We're not gonna let him reload. Come on now. Get in there, Sano. Punch his ass. He has a filter. Cause there's like a, uh, uh, there, there's like a, what's the word? It's like a hose, like kind of tip that he has to like put the gas in. For you, baby girl. I, I can't believe we just sat there and let him reload. Like, really. No, we are the fools we're waiting, but let's see what happens. He can't punch fire, right? No, because he fucking said that he's gonna... Classic Sano, just endure the flames and punch him. Whatever, he's Mr. Brute Force. Oh, ew! So that's how it's done. Okay, this makes a little bit more sense, I guess. But still, like, that's crazy. Is this based on real life? Like, have people in the past done shit like this? But you got the left arm, though. No, no, you got the left arm, though. I don't see no flames here, bro. We can kick, too. 
He's just a brawler, huh? I feel like the author is trying to tell us like Sano really doesn't need any weapons. Like he's just gonna brawl his way. But like all the opponents, well, they're not necessarily gonna be like samurai with swords too. Yeah. Yeah, give Sano some credit, man. The main character and the main supporting character. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Sano has no nipples, by the way. This is not a guy, right? What about this dude? Go out there and fight yourself, coward. Maybe he'll do like the flick thing. Here we go, but Kenshin won't notice, right? He probably already knows where he is. Yep. Bloodlust. He can just sense it, huh? Actual gun butt. Kenshin, come on. Yaiko? He reacted on time? Dude, even Kenshin? I mean, he was a little bit further away, but still, holy shit. Yaiko hasn't had an official fight yet, but yeah. He is Team Kenshin. Damn! I can't wait till he's more trained up. There's gotta be poison in that, right? Yeah, there's gotta be poison in that. He'll be fine. He'll be fine, but... It's really cool that Yaiko actually gets to, you know... What's the word? Put in his work, too. There's poison? Uh, do we need an antidote? Oh, you're dead, bro. You're... How? How is he so fast? What substitution? That's not. Thank you. Did he get taller? Did he get taller? No, he didn't get taller. That's a totally different person. Who do we focus though? We, we gotta focus on Yaiko though. Nah, he'll be fine. Okay, okay. I thought he might have actually. That was his true form or something, but he, that, he's the guy that saved him. Okay, okay. Oh? He says it's impossible. I, I mean, he's being very reasonable, right? Should we respect that? <laughs> yeah, give us an antidote, bro. Come on now. Well, then we're not gonna let you leave! Oh? This guy's just a brawler, too? Oh. Yo, Sano should be a good matchup for him. They're just gonna punch each other. Wait! Kenshin, what are you doing? Kenshin? Kenpo Master Book. Did Kenshin really just get knocked? I'm surprised. Kenshin got. I don't know. Like, like I didn't think that he could overwhelm Kenshin like that. Cut his head. <laughs> you gotta suck it out, right? Careful. Careful. If you fuck up, then it goes in you. Yeah, she should do this. She should do this, man. Oh. I, I didn't know. All I've seen in shows is that people just like, I know, suck on the poison and spit it out and it usually works, but... Damn. She knows. How does she know this? I don't know it works, though. This is... That guy said that this is like their group's like secret weapon or something, the talk, like the poison. And now she's just gonna fucking make, uh, make a home remedy antidote? I, I'm down, but damn. Okay, she's pretty useful. Western medicine. Can't this all kind of tie back to the opium creation? Maybe she knows the fucking secret formula. Maybe she is a secret formula that's been mass producing opium. Yeah, in the drugs of Western medicine, that pretty much implies that she is pretty much the one coming up with the opium formula. Damn, this is pretty sad. What the? Is she gonna join us? What? Do we have more room in the dojo? I mean, she could be like some kind of doctor kind of person, right? Spiderweb, the opium. Huh? That's cracked. Actually cracked. What? Damn. She created like the mega opium. Just like so cheap, but just so much better too in terms of profitability. I feel like that's something Kenshin should be saying to himself. 
Because he too is walking this like path of atonement. I doubt that he's forgiven himself of the past. So this is almost like him projecting his shit onto her, which is a good thing in this case, but oh, you're listening? Y'all listen to all that! I mean, the doctor said she want, he wanted to meet her, right? Kaoru or uh, her? Ah! I don't know. <laughs> She's a little bit more mature and cool, right? So, what was that? <gasps> it's him again! But no, no popped collar! No jacket! Where's his jacket? Bones. Kenshin did get a good hit on him, right? That's so impressive how he like hit Kenshin and they still got away. Mm. Two to three days out? Just off that one fucking interaction. Huh. I feel like that guy and Sana will be a good matchup though, huh? Because, you know, they're both weaponless. Itokiribatosai. Post credit scene. This is the boss, right? Of the opium gang. What is he doing? This is just to like smuggle drugs oh, across, right? <laughs> oh, Kanryu! Oh, Haro Haro, very lucky! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, Haro Haro, very lucky! I love English in anime, bro. I love English in anime. Like, it's not appropriate to mock people that English isn't their first language. But, like, when I hear it, it's still fun, you know? What? I think he said elegant. I think he said elegant. I don't know what that is. Some kind of weapon? Some kind of big gun? I can't relate, bro. Good on you. <laughs> Even the captain's like. <laughs> okay, this is actually hilarious. Kanryu might be a piece of shit, but that ending, the English scenes, that was amazing. That was amazing. Again, it's not really appropriate to make fun of people where English isn't their native language. Like, if I... I don't know how to speak Japanese. If I try to speak Japanese and Japanese people make fun of me for my, you know, Japanese, like, the the, the accent, you know, it feels bad. But at the same time... Oh, Haro, Haro! <laughs> where are we going with this? I feel like Kanryu and, like, the... Like, the guy with the jacket is part of the ninja squad and Kanryu is just employing them but I feel like the guy with the jacket doesn't necessarily seem too evil I feel like all his goal is to find Kenshin for some specific reason so maybe maybe they're not so bad after all and it's just Kanryu that we got to deal with I don't know but anyways if you're still here if you did enjoy this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time take care